What's up everyone? Nerdy Noob here and I have another unboxing video for you. Today I'm going to be unboxing the 2015 July Power Up Box. The Power Up Box has not been one of my favorite boxes so far. Uh, it is quite expensive. This box runs about, I want to say like 44 bucks a month. So it is on the pricier end. Surprisingly, this box is actually quite small for the price point. So, if you're interested in this box, I'll put the pricing details in the description below, and you can check that out. And let's go ahead and get this box open. Alright, once you cut the tape on the side of the box, and you open it, this is what you're going to see. Is there paper? Oh, it's like a book, or a magazine, or a comic book, or something. Oh, I don't know what this is. They really shoved it in here, though, huh? Okay. So the first item, we're just going to pull what's on top. It is a comic book from DC Comics. It is Justice League of America. This is actually a very nice quality comic book. You can see the shininess of the cover. Oh, and it's in all color. Fancy. I have no idea what this comic is about. It's hard to keep up with comics, but it says it's worth $5.99 if you want to pay $5.99 for this. Oh, but this is neat. It has all the, it has like Green Lantern and Superman and, um, was that F Flash? Yes, Flash. Yeah, so it just has a bunch of everybody in here. Fun. All right. So I'm pretty sure the power box in the past, uh, at least definitely last time, I got this like random like two shirts, but they were both Monopoly shirts, which had nothing to do with anything. Um, I'm not going to pull this shirt out yet. Oh, but this box seems like it actually is following a theme, which I felt like it was lacking last time around, last month. So this, I see a lot of like Avengers things or like superhero things. So <laughs> the, this, the next item is this, uh, <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is Thor. And it's kind of like a plushy sort of. He feels like he's made out of like felt. Um, it has a little hangy thing, so he must, he must be good for hanging. He is quite funny looking. Um, look, he's got his little felt hammer. But this is cool. I've never seen anything like this, so I actually like this. Very nice. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh, power box. I'm a fan. This is a wacky wobbler bobblehead, and it's Ant-Man, so Marvel's Ant-Man. This feels like really good quality, and the detail in this guy is legit. So compared to like the pop vinyls who, who look more, a little bit more cartoony, um, this one actually looks like the real Ant-Man, and he's got really good detail on his suit and his helmet. Oh, and it's made by Funko. I've never heard of a Wacky Wobbler before. This is cool. I really like this. I wonder, this, this seems like it would have really good value. All right, next thing we have a projector keychain, a Marvel projector keychain. Ooh, they really went like name brand items here. I like this a lot. Let's see. Pop this protector off. So it's like a light. Here's a white piece of paper. Ooh, is this Deadpool? I think so. I'm pretty sure this is Deadpool, right? Somebody help me out there. This is cool though. It's like a laser, oh, don't shine in your eyes. It's like a laser pointer. It has actually pretty good detail for a little projector light in this, so. Neat, and it is a, a BioWorld uh, Marvel thing. So no knockoff brand. All right, the next item, it's a Batman keychain thing. Actually, is it a dog tag? It might be a dog tag. Whoa. Yes, I think this is a dog tag. It's like a dog tag puzzle because the little circle Batman symbol can actually come out of the rest of it. Whoa. Yeah. Batman dog tag thing. All right. The next thing we have is a candy shot. Oh, it's like, um... It's a shot glass made out of candy, like a lollipop candy, and it's lemon-lime flavored. That's kind of fun. Not very kid-friendly. Pour, toast, drink, eat. 
I've never seen this before. That's cool. And then the last item before the shirt is playing cards. And they are Avengers. They are Avengers themed. Ooh, these are nice. And they're very good quality. So here's your cards. There's like the Hulk. And Captain America. No, it's blurry. Ooh, Hawkeye and Black Widow. I like Hawkeye. You have a Hulkbuster. Thor. Ultron. <gasps> Look, Hawkeye gets his own card. Very nice. These are actually really, really good quality. I know you can't really tell. Um, but the cards are actually very thick. They've got a weird feel to them, but it's like like good quality cards. Oh, I like these. I don't even want to play with them because they're so cool. Sometimes that's the problem with these awesome things that you get. You just don't want to ruin them. All right, and the last item, which is the shirt, is a... It's a Marvel Spider-Man shirt. It's a men's medium. It's kind of big. So the thing about the shirts that I've realized, they're not um, made specifically for the box. I feel like they just kind of go to the store and buy licensed shirts, which could be good. I think you could probably go to the store if you get random shirts, you could probably find them for $10. I just went to Macy's and they had a sale on all of these Avengers shirts and Mario and all of these things, Star Wars, for $10. So I can imagine that they're probably paying about $10 for these shirts, which for them is probably fine since this box is you know 44 bucks um, which is the premium box again because I think they have two different types of boxes the other one only comes with six items and I think this one's supposed to come with at least like eight items um, there's no postcard to tell you what's in it but we'll do a recap so I got the spider-man shirt and I got the really cool ant-man bobblehead probably my favorite item in the box we got the uh, candy shot glass we got the Marvel's, I think, Deadpool projector light. We got the Thor, kind of plushy, but more of like a polyester felt material. We have our DC comic book. We have our Avengers playing cards. And we have our Batman dog tag thing. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight items on the dot. So this is the more expensive box to get about eight items, I think, they, is what they tell you. I actually like this box. Um, I was not having good luck with the previous power boxes. I actually really didn't like them, and I was actually planning on canceling the box because of the price point. But I like this box. I've never seen this, so I feel like this is really cool. I'm going to have to look this up. Uh, I've never seen it in the stores. I go to Hot Topic all the time and I feel like they would have something like this. So it's it's a little bit more unique than it has been in the past where I feel like they just went to the store and bought random things. And I do like the theme. I feel I don't know if there's a th there's obviously not an, a legit theme to this, but I'm going to say it's like superheroes. And just because they had that theme, I felt like the items really kind of meshed a lot more and a lot better and made just a lot more sense. Of course, minus the candy shot glass, which is still kind of neat. I've never seen that before. So, if I had to rate this box, I would give this box... Again, I don't know if you necessarily get your money's worth for what you're paying for, but a lot of these items are, like, unique, I would say. I mean, I'm sure you they just bought these from the store, but I just don't see these at the store every day. So, a little bit more unique than they have been in the past. And because of that, I'm actually going to give this box a four out of five noobs again if you try to do like price point i i don't know if you if you necessarily you might just get the value of the 44 dollars but you know again this box came with more unique items that i like so i'm gonna give it a four i really like this box all right that was the 2015 july power up box thank you so much for watching if you like the video feel free to click the like button below and if you want to see more unboxing videos you can check out my channel and feel free to subscribe if you like until my next video, my fun fact is Arnold from Hey Arnold had the coolest bedroom ever.